We're looking at our Palm Springs aerial tram cam right now at a very cool and calm night here in the valley. Now, right now, we have dipped into the 60s for our evening temperatures across the valley. Here is a look. We're seeing 63 in Cathedral City, 60 in Palm Desert, and even 58 in La Quinta and 56 in India. So certainly shaping up to be somewhat chilly fall evening. And we can see that it's, we've been close to our seasonal average of 76 degrees throughout the day. And now around uh, 12 a.m., we'll be lowering back down into the 50s for our overnight low temperatures. So we're certainly staying close to those fall seasonable temperatures. We've also stayed dry throughout this entire week over the weekend up until today as our relative humidity stays low under 20 across the valley. Now, even though we are staying dry, we've seen some cloud cover roll in due to a ridge of uh, low pressure, excuse me, that rolled in. And we saw some cloud cover move in, but even though there are some high clouds, we didn't see any rainfall and we're not going to. We just saw some beautiful sunsets such as this one sent in by um, our own, very own photographer, Chris Tarpening. It's beautiful, beautiful view. So that's basically the only result that we've seen from that cloud cover that rolled in. Now, as the week goes on around Wednesday, we'll see that this ridge of low pressure is going to be replaced by a ridge of high pressure. Now, in addition to clearing our skies, that's also going to be bringing us a gradual warm up ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. Now, by tomorrow, we'll be rising into the high 70s at 78 degrees, warming up into the 80s by Wednesday and by Thanksgiving we'll be staying in the 80s so we can look forward and be thankful for some warmer temperatures on the way but that also comes with the return of some Santa Ana winds. Now we saw the Santa Ana winds return this past weekend but we didn't see too many high winds in the valley areas. Most of the activity was really reserved west of our valley in mount mountain pass areas and that's going to be the case rolling into Wednesday as well so if you have any plans outside for Thanksgiving you can just look forward to some breezy conditions at most as most of the action is going to be within those mountain pass areas once again. Now looking at our first solar comforter seven day forecast, we're going to be staying in the mid uh, mid 70s for the first part of our week, rising into the high high 70s by Wednesday and John and Karen by Thanksgiving we can look forward to being in the 80s and uh, we'll be staying there for quite some time into the weekend. That looks perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank nice. You, Tatum.